Oop, there's a good one. There's a big one. There's a big one out. Ooh. Huh. Look at that. There we go. Nope, same size. A little bit better. Come here. Ooh. That's a squeaker. What's that? You don't even need a net on that one. What? <laughs> you don't want a net in that one? No. Yeah, it doesn't like That's me. a flipper. Well, you don't get many flippers, but we'll take them anyway. Whoop. Come here, buddy. Huh. Come here, buddy. Let's see. You don't want some left. Let's see how this guy is. Fairly dangerous activity. Come here, buddy. Ooh. Not too bad. Thing is, you know, in so many different conditions, one of the real keys to really being successful on the water is just dealing with the conditions, and that's changing throughout the course of the season. I'm talking about efficiency, especially when you get at what a lot of people would consider adverse conditions, and that's wind, is jerk baits. You know, and today uh, there's quite a few different jerk baits on the market. Right now, we're fishing with a. Uh, this is a ripstop deep, and this bait actually on a long cast with braided line and monofilament, or a, a fluorocarbon leader, I should say, that I can actually drive this bait down to almost like, you know, eight to nine foot of water on a really long cast. And then after that, it's a other thing is also figuring out the retrieve that the fish are willing to bite on. Sometimes you want to have to pause it for a period of time to trigger the fish into biting. Sometimes you want to impart a lot of uh, erratic behavior, like, like popping it to get the fish to bite, but jerk baits are just fabulous tools. When, you, when the wind starts to blow, jerk baits are a real key lure to have in your arsenal. When you think about hard baits, they really come in three shapes. Round, oval, kind of fat baits. Then you got flat-sided shad type baits. Then you got minnow style baits. And they all got a time and place for every kind of fish, inclusive of walleyes. And uh, 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 Rapala knows a lot about minnow style baits. They came and introduced the original floating Rapala to North America. Still one of the hottest baits in the world. Then the countdown followed after that. Then the Husky Jerk series af after that. And then the x Rap series after that. Then the Shadow Rap series after that. Then the Ripstop series after that. Now that has an impressive run and every one of these styles of baits do something slightly different and uh, 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 the minnow shape day in and day out is an absolute absolute killer you gotta have them in your tackle box for any kind of fish that swims Oop, there's one. Yep, no, no, nice wally. Right, right there. I just, it's just sort of changed directions at the end of the cast and the bait was coming up. Come here, buddy. I'm coming. That's a better one there, yeah. look at that. It's interesting, you know, with this ripstop, every one of these fish out are okay. biting that, that little flash flash mark on the, on the tail of the bait. It's sort of interesting. Come oh, here, buddy. Amazing. Look That's at that. There you go. You got to show, I mean, there you that, go. That little teaser tail. Yeah, look at that. Little, mm -hmm. They got some beautiful, there little, we go. I mean, it's really slick the way that works. Look at that thing. But you'll notice on this bait here, all the rip stops actually have a little flash. And a lot of the walleyes, all three of the walleyes I've caught so far, every one of them were hooked on that tail hook with that little bit of flash on there. It's a nice fish. I think we're starting to get fine tuned here a little bit. And get it going here a little little beautiful fish we'll get her back in the water you can see with the wind at my back i can just literally launch this bait you know what i mean you go out there look how far that bait's getting out there now what i'm going to do is reel it down to depth i probably cast it into about maybe 11 or 12. i'm going to reel it down and then i'm going to just slow my cha uh, cadence down a little bit sweeping Sweeping retrieve. Oop, there's one. Oh, I like that.
I'm back, back you know, it's, on his It's really man. so efficient, you know what I mean? Man. That's what you get on what Al was saying, <laughs> the efficiency of jerk baits like this. You know, a lot of people say snivel when the wind starts blowing. And the thing is, a lot of good anglers, they just love it because they realize how you can get up on these big structures and do this. You know what I mean? Get, how you can co comb water hooked. real quick <laughs> and catch. Uh, it's not only, you know, walleyes, but a lot of times you'll be catching smallmouth, northern pike, you know, it's early season uh, lake trout, you know, real shallow water sometimes. There you go. Come here, buddy. Another nice one. Look where that hook is again. I know, I know isn't it? It's, it's almost like, oh, oh. It's just fascinating the way they're, but they're biting it. Yeah. Now that teaser tail. Look at that has, thing. Has really made a difference, Jim, in this bait. Yeah, you know, I know. Every everything. every fish is hooked perfectly on the last last hook. And the thing is, is you know why? Because when this bait moves through the water, look at that. There's Got a it. beautiful fish. Look at that guy there. You can see these when these guys. You now wind starts blowing. These guys turn into hunters. You can see those choppers. They get up on these flats and they really start moving around. You know, hunting schools of shiner minnows and bait fish up on these flats. I'll get her back in the water. Come here, buddy. And you can see this little bit of like a flash mark on the back end of the bait. What's really cool about this bait, watch this thing underwater. And a lot of the walleyes, you notice that they've all been biting on that the tail end of the bait. And the reason is, is that little bit of mirrored finish on the back end of the lure. But this has really been a fabulous fish catcher for a lot of different fish species. Got him. Got him? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice there one, real nice one, Jim. Let me... Oh, there's another, there's another one with it. What? There's another one with him. Really? Yeah. Here. Oh, here's a good one. Here, let me spot lock here for a second or two. You got a spot lock yeah, here? I'm, yep, I'm on it. Get, get the net on it. Come on. Come on. Where is that little yeah, one? Yeah, here. Oh. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Hey, come here. Just hand her to me here. That's a good one. Yes, it's a good one. Come on out of there, baby. There's another one. There's another one out. Yeah, I told you, they're yep. in this corner. You got a spot lock Ooh, in here. I'm, not, I'm locked here. Hang on. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. This is kind of a skinny one. Look at her. She, she's not real fat. There she, for, she hasn't been eating really good like those ones that you had. Good one? Yeah. I, I'm a good net man. Oh, yeah. yeah nice one. That, but, yeah. Nice one again. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh. Whoa. I know. Yeah, you got her spot like we're yeah. good. <laughs> Yours is, I think, coming to be the biggest one of the, the day here so far. She looked pretty good, Jim. I was about to tell you something when we doubled up on here, yeah. but I will in a minute. I think there. you're going to find... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Real, real fat so there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh. There you go, man. How do you like that That's little whippersnapper? Yeah. That's a big gal, I'm going to need the pliers here. Yeah. Okay. I know what I got him here. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. A little blood off her. There you go. She's a good one. Got him. Got Everybody. him. Got him. Got him. There Got we him. go. Feels like a brownie, too. Almost sure it's a brownie. Oh. Ooh, it's big fish, Jim. Is it? Yeah. Boy. Mike got yourself a smallie. Mike got a smallie. Yeah, huh. maybe it's fighting like a dog walleye now. A what? It's a big walleye. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say there should be some walleyes out <laughs> here. I'm, I'm going to need you to net this. Okay. Are you sure it's not a giant brownie? No, it's a walleye. Yep, it yeah, is. Yeah, just a nice one. Not even a monster. No. Not even a monster. Oh, I didn't realize I, you, you went to clown. Yeah, I, I just thought I... What? Yeah, I, I think I can handle her. Okay. I got her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to... Okay. okay. Excellent. We're pushing the envelope. 
you got the, you go, here's a pair, a pair of pliers. Clown, clown, clown. <laughs> one for the road. I finally got one in back. I've been doing all the netting. <laughs> Look at that. No. I've been running out of time. See I've that seen way too many lightning push, strikes back we're there. We're pushing yeah. the envelope. You, you know, I didn't get a chance to to get up on that smallmouth water that I wanted to go to. But uh, this is a good run. It's a fun run. You got me for 10 more minutes. I've been doing a good job in that, Jim. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Where is the ox? Yeah. I'm just trying I'm to, to hold the boat. There you go. You see him out here. Right straight ahead. There, right there. there you go. Come here. Another, another pretty nice one here. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Actually, good too. She's another spawned out one. Boy, I know. That's one thing about, you know, crankbaits like this. A lot of times for walleyes, it really, you'll get bigger fish as a whole. I mean, yeah, the, the average yeah. size of fish definitely Look at increases. That that's a big one. Yeah, there. that's a good one. Come, Come here, here. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, boy, that's oh. a big one, Jim. Yeah, another really big there, one. Boy. Whoa. Come here. Come here. Oh. Look at this. We're in, in luck. He's not hooked too bad. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful Man. fish. A big longy. <laughs> no question about it. When it comes to catching big walleyes and smallmouth bass, jerk baits can be a really key lure throughout the entire season. It doesn't make any difference. Cold water, warm water, you know, that's the really key. It's really just sort of fine tuning the conditions for the conditions that you're faced with.